Yeah, this is a very interesting little archway right here. Coming up right here. Coming over this way. Well, this other one's coming up. Bowed over and bent in. Going up underneath that little piece right there. interesting we got a break right there that's about 10 roughly a good 10 feet high and further up there's another one you see right there where it's ripped off ripped and broke down right there oh, nothing down here in the area I don't know it's interesting Starting to get dark. Yeah, you got a lot of clearing up through here. We've done some logging up through here. Sometimes these areas could be very interesting. A lot of game sign up through here. here and check out the area the best we can before it gets too dark and then we're gonna go sit out by the field again but I'd like to see what we got going on in here So I spoke to a couple hunters, well actually one, one of them, kind of getting a feel of the area and what's in here, and I was asking them about the wildlife here. Uh, I was explaining to him about the track that I found last time we were here, that very large deer track. And I asked them if there's any possibility could it have been a moose. And he said no, not to his knowledge, although research shows that there is moose in pennsylvania so he said not in this area here and what is this guys check this out check this out right here julie come over and take a look at this okay. this is interesting right here so we got this right here all right, so we got a couple of limbs broke off over here. We got this right here. Look at that. Look at the pattern. Look at everything very carefully here. And then look how this has come down over here. This is kind of like laid on top of it, like just like it got put there. Yeah, this is very interesting. Yeah, this is very interesting. That's why I wanted to come check this area out before it got too dark. Here it is. Let me come to on this side here, get this side view right here. I mean, this may not be nothing to some people, but it stands out. Looks like there's a possibility that there was some handwork that went into this. So, very interesting. Let's go down a little further, check this area out down here. Hey, Julie. I see something over this way here that's kind of catching my attention. I'm not sure what we got, but I'll go take a closer look. 
see if it's see if it is anything. Which now that I'm getting closer to it, is just all part of this these old rotted trees that have fallen here. Yeah, but from back there, it looked like something else. It, it just stood out to me differently. Yeah, absolutely. You just never know until you get up on it and take a look at stuff. But, but. Looks like there's an impression right here. I don't know. Well, it might have been, could be anything, but just the way I'm looking at it without putting a light on it, looks like there's an impression right here. No, 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 it's good. That's actually, looking through the camera, it almost show, looks like it might show it. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, let's go over here a little bit more. Wait a minute here, wait a minute here. I'm trying to see if this here, I'm trying to see if that broke off from up there, or what's the deal with that? Because you got this one here, and you got this other one here. They're they're both kept, uh, caught and laying in the fork of this other tree. Oh my goodness! Wow. Same thing across the road over there the last time. Exactly. Good catch. I wasn't even looking down at that, but yeah, Julie just spotted this X right here, right here in the middle of these trees. There's an X formation right here, and then you got that piece of wood that's laying in the fork of that tree going up, and you got this in the fork of this part of the tree. That's pretty cool. See there, let's throw a little light on that, yeah. Alright. Very cool. Alright, I'm gonna move down this way. Alright. So yeah, it's getting a little interesting now. Now that we're getting to learn and see what's over on this part of the woods. We haven't been over here before. You know what? Why not? Hold on, let me try something again. Okay. No. I wanted to pan. I wanted to do a repeat of what I just did. Because yeah. when I was panning this way, yeah. that fence, there's a fence line over there. Yes. Something. Like a white shadow. Oh, I know, that don't make no sense, a white shadow. But something <laughs> that looked like something white, like a beam or something, went from left to right when I was panning to my left. And it was... It was along that fence line over there. It was like almost a straight line. It was very weird. I'll have to go back and review this. Yeah, just to see what it was. Yeah, it could have been something. I don't know. It just caught me off guard, and it was weird. That's why I had to do a repeat to see if I saw it again. Because I got the light of the camera phone on, and I don't know if it's something like a reflection, or, or could it have been a moth that was flying by? So we'll find out and check that out afterwards. Uh, Julie, look at this. Look at this. And then you got this crossing over this way, and you got these other. Yeah, I got a couple little crisscrosses going on right here. I'm gonna come on the other side of this to get another view of it. Watch out, there's some thick briars there. Again, that is interesting. That's very interesting. So I might have to start getting my other light out here because if there's other stuff like that around here, it's getting harder to see it now. Sometimes I like looking on these trees that have the smooth bark because claw marks show up real well on these trees. Thank you. 
I got a series of a few breaks. Some of the tree breaks are not much to get excited about. You know, it's interesting when you see them in a cluster. There's a, a series of them. One, two, three, four. interesting this is a very interesting area here because I'm seeing other things up ahead or that look like they could be something break and fall off some, somewhere or were they placed here these sticks and limbs or was this something at some point I see a lot of bow trees over that way What you got? No, I was just saying it makes a V. Yeah, know. but if you come from the other angle, you can see like all the, oh, it looks like sticks that got laid there. Yeah. That's just kind of cool. And then look over here. You got a couple of these things standing up in here. I don't know, I just now noticed that. You got a lot of. There's a lot of them that just are leaning and go up. Yeah, exactly. And you, uh,. Look at that. You see that there? That forms an X right there. You see that one standing over here? Mm -hmm. And that one standing tree there? Yeah. I don't know if you can see it, but yeah, it's kind of hard to see through this, but they meet up the top yes. and meet, uh, create an X, a standing X. Very narrow, though. Yeah, just watch your step through here. There's a... Yeah, I had to pull my light out because it was too dark to see anything in the area that might stand out. Now that I have the light out, I can see what might be in the area here. Yeah. Hold on. I want to go down this way, but I want to check something out up here first. I am seeing a lot of deer sign in here, that's for sure. Now that's, see, now that's interesting because you got this right here come up, it's broke, snapped, going down on the other side. Right there. Mm -hmm. Yep. That's what I wanted to check out. It looked interesting from back there. I see a lot of, uh, some spots, I mean, a lot of this has been scraped away from deer, possibly even turkey, but some of the areas around here look like they, like they were bedding areas. Some of them are flattened, too. All right. I'm coming. 
going to come around, work our way back out to that log road. Hey, wait, what is this right here? Look at this. You see right in front of me? There's one, two, three, four. Four trees all connected right there. Hey, could you do me a favor? Yeah. Could you go stand right underneath of them without, right underneath the, uh, please, the as a, um, as in, um, point of reference? Yeah, yeah, kind of show a height. Sometimes that's good. Try not to bump them if you can. No, I'm not going to bump them. I'm just, I'm short. All right, that's fine. Just out of curiosity, uh, just tell everybody how tall you are. I'm 5'3". Five, 5'3". Three. Five three. Yes. So, all right. Very cool. Can you snap a couple of pictures of this? Yeah. Like, because uh, well, while I'm on recording, I can't do so. Yeah. Alright, I'm going to walk over here, and then we're going to walk off to the right over here. Um, then we're going to work our way. Hold on. The road's over there. Yeah, I know where the road is. That's why we're going to work our way over there. Uh, I just want to look at something. Alright, let's go, uh, yeah, work our way over here. I want to come down a little bit before crossing over. So I'm looking in the ground, I'm seeing some oddly shaped impressions here. Yeah. I'm looking at this here. What, what are you looking at? What the, the four, oh. Oh yeah, look, you got, well, they're connected right there. And then look, there's a, this one tree, let me get up here so you can see what I'm talking about. I'm stuck, with there's some vines here I'm stuck on. But look at this, Julie. This tree right here, going all the way up here. It's been ripped down and snapped off of there. But it's still hanging because it's caught on the other limb. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's been ripped down right there. And that's, I'm six foot tall. That's probably about easily 10 to 11 feet up total. But yeah, that's been ripped and it's still hanging there. And then you got the two other trees right here connecting right above me. Yeah, and then you have, yeah, these other trees, too. This tree's rooted here, and I think Which one? That. I don't think that has roots, because I was feeling at the bottom right here. No, it is. It's in the ground, yeah. But you got these other trees that are one, two, connecting, crisscrossing, standing on these two other standing trees right here. Look at those ones way up there. You know where my red light is? Yep, that's what I'm pointing out. Oh, okay. Yep. Pretty cool stuff here. That's pretty freaking interesting. It sure is. Yeah, this side of the forest is fun. <laughs> entertaining the thought, or assuming that the Bigfoot has a lot to do with what we're finding, tells me that this is a very active location here. Again, entertaining the thought, or assuming. All right. All right, listen, stop, stop, listen. Listen, listen, listen. Of course.
down this way, somewhere down this way, I heard something moving or walking. or what off in the distance but I'm not hearing anything close to us at all. Yeah there's dead Yeah there's no crickets at all. And the only thing I hear is those distant gunshots continuously going off. Yeah, it could be deer moving around. I, I could, we could what I'm hearing yeah, it could be deer. I mean, yeah, those ain't nobody shooting at not. Uh, they're not shooting at deer, babe. They're not? No, no. Why would they? No, they're not. They're continuously shooting. They're shooting at targets. Uh, okay. Yeah, they. Uh, I want to let you guys be when you're on the road. <laughs> <laughs> That's not. If they're trying to shoot at a deer, they. I'm sorry, but they're idiots. They're they're idiots. They should have gave up. After the second, third shot, <laughs> you would think. they're shooting at something. They're target shooting. Well, they're just shooting them because they're idiots up here. Oh. This is an old log road. We'll walk, work our way up this here. And. Uh, yeah. You talking about what, what part? Right here, right here. Yeah. Yeah, they're, I think they're just growing like that. But where it got my attention over here is the broken, what's been ripped down and broken right here. Because there's nothing here, nothing on the ground over in this area that would have came down and bro uh, broke them down like that. So we just came from checking out the other side of the forest road where we had not been yet. And I was actually quite fascinated by what was over there. So we're back here by the edge of the field where we're going to sit, relax, listen, and see what might happen. It's very, very quiet right now. Except for some distant gunshots way in the distance over by some ridge so we're gonna just sit here and do our thing hopefully if we hear anything hopefully we can capture it on audio here so I haven't had Folgers instant coffee in a long time. Didn't you just put some in the other day into that? Those that was mixed with regular yeah, grounds, big, yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. But by itself like this, oh. yeah, it's, I forgot what it tastes like. It tastes special, doesn't it? Oh, it's special, all right. <laughs> it's not, it's warm, but it's not hot. Well, do you right here, do you want me to put it on the... Fire? Yeah, if you want to heat up just a little bit more. So, right now we got some very good temperatures right now. Very, uh, very mild. I don't know. Probably in the upper 40s right now here in the woods. Got a clear sky right now. Very clear sky. No moon, but we got some stars out. Um, so far the most I've heard out here since we've been here, maybe some owls, and then you'll probably hear on here, unless they finally stopped, I don't know, but there's been non-stop gunshots. I just there, there goes one right there. They must have a, uh, a, a shoot range or something that's well lit up because they're not stopping right now. But, uh. I don't know. 
So besides the gunshots, it's been very quiet out here. I don't know, it might be one of those nights where we don't get nothing. But time will tell. I'm trying to stay recording just in case we hear something. But I know if I'm hearing it, you're hearing it. We have no control of the gunshots that are going off. Uh, as of right now, what time is it, Julie? Um, it is 6 o'clock. All right, 6 o'clock. So, yeah, it got dark between 5 and 5.30. And, yeah, 6 o'clock. It's early right now. It's early. Yeah. Now, we'll see what happens here. Hopefully within the next couple hours. If we don't get nothing now, maybe after another couple hours, things might start changing. Things could start happening. So... Well, we'll see. Stay tuned. Yeah, so I'm trying to hold this very still because where I saw what appeared to be eye shine, Wait. Julie said she's seen it in the same location. Well, what about right over there? I'm focusing with my night vision in one particular area right now. Because huh. she's seen it twice, and I've seen one that appeared to be uh, kind of high, and then the other two were low. And she said the two that she saw were low. So we're both seeing something over there. We're not just, our eyes ain't playing tricks on us. She's seeing it and I'm seeing it. But even with night vision, if there's anything over there, I should be able to pick it up. This is weird. Listen, please listen. I heard something over here. It might have been a leaf blowing up against the stone. I don't know, weird. I heard yeah, something. It's awful quiet out. Yeah, right before I started recording, I thought I heard some kind of, like, not close, but not that far either. Some kind of vocals. Okay. Yeah. Over that way? Over that way. Somewhere out that way, but. So, hopefully those gunshots are done with now. I hope so. They've been going on for how long? Oh, my goodness. Since we've gotten here, really. Yeah. <laughs> I think they've run out of ammo by now, but I guess not. Mm-hmm. And expensive, yeah, as expensive ammo is, it's one thing to do a few shots if you're trying to sight your rifle in or something, you know? Well, yeah. And who's going to try and sight the rifle in now? Yeah, exactly. That's true. You're in the dark. You're not going to zero anything out now. Apparently, they have their own shooting range. It was well lit up. Yeah. Just assuming so. I mean, people are idiots, and we'll shoot in the dark at nothing. There are those. So yeah, there are multiple. Oh, listen, stop, listen. All right, you know what that is, don't you? That's a barred owl. Oh, it's a barred owl. You guys owl. have barred owls up here. Yeah, 
that's listen, the listen, thing. it's still going. It got really high pitched. Listen, sometimes it's more than one. They like to communicate. If there's other, if there's others around, they will communicate. Oh, okay. Nope, it's not that far into the woods. No. But it's not entirely too close either. No, but it's not too far. That's not too close. Don't be surprised if they give off or I don't know if they will it's unexpected though you said they can make like really screeching sounds barred owls yes yeah. will give off a scream a god <laughs> curdling scream that will make the hair on your neck stand up and you'll jump that's awesome I hope we hear that it's it's a to me the way I describe it it's like it's like a banshee yes <laughs> that's, that's a good cool. way to put it I want to send the scream of death but that's that's, <laughs> that's a banshee for you that's the better way of doing it yes Barnard Isles are notorious for that. I've had other people out in the woods camping with me and, and hear it, think it's a Sasquatch screaming and calling at them. Oh. I was like, no, dude, it's just an owl. It's I'd a be like, owl. it's a banshee. I know my barred owls also well. You better head for cover. There's a banshee in the woods. Yep. <laughs> That'd be great. Yep. So you may not hear that again for a while, but sometimes, like I said, if you hear that, stop and listen. Okay. That was pretty funny. Mm -hmm. I love hearing owls too, but but yeah, that's a barred owl. Yeah, before I started recording, that might have been what I heard, but they give off other tones and vocals, too. Right. Yeah, a bard I will give off a hoot sound, too. Yeah. So they'll make, like, your typical hoot sound, also? Yeah. You know, like your classic, what you think of an owl, typically, is hooting. Mm -hmm. All right, so remember I told you I saw a flash up in there looking at the sky? Yeah. And almost in the same area is another big bright flash up there. I don't get it. That's Some, really something. Like I said, I've seen a couple strange things up in the sky tonight. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of multiple aircrafts, airplanes, and other things. The photo was probably close enough. I mean, they're way up there, but I am seeing some strangeness. Yeah, I know you're doing something over there, but try not to mo scuffle and move so much. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. I, was I just... know, I'm recording and I'm hearing things. I know, I'm sorry. My nose is running. something over here. I'm going to turn the light off for a second. I don't know if I can find the light switch on here. All right. So you're going to see darkness right now. I need to look for something. I kept seeing something. It looked like a set of eye shine. But then again, it looked like a light at the same time. It kept showing itself on and off right around the same spot here and I'm not seeing it right now at all perhaps let me turn my 
I'm going to make this total darkness for a second. They ain't the same light I'm looking at. That's it. Something over this way. It's not that light you just saw over there. There's something over here. I'm not seeing it right now. When I sit down on the stone, I saw it very clear and I walked straight out from where I was sitting. Now I'm not seeing it. I'm hearing the owl sounding off. I'm hearing some distant howls of some sort. Oh yeah, I hope the camera, I hope the camera's picking up the audio I'm hearing. Ooh, coyotes. Alright, so I'm not seeing the other light, or maybe it was, a, it did look like eye shine. It really did. I'm going to go sit back at the stone and see if I could pick it up from there, because I'm not seeing nothing at all through here. And I was seeing it without no light looking over here. So let's go back to the stone and kind of sit there and chill. Alright, so... I started to see that light again, or a possible eye shine, and it was just to the right, oh, excuse me, to the left of this stone here. So I'm going to look in darkness to see if I can see it again from this angle. And I'm not seeing nothing right now at all. Uh, we'll walk down a little. Ooh, what was that?
I'm gonna walk down here see if I can see it again. I'm walking down this very dark old log road here. And I'm not seeing anything that's giving off that reflection or whatever it was appearing. It wasn't reflecting off any of the light. That's what's getting me. You see, this is where it splits off to the left over here. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm seeing something reflecting. Oh, I see eye shine. I see red, something reflecting. Might be something on a tree. I'm going to walk right up to it. It might be an owl. I don't know if you guys can see it. I don't know if the camera's picking this up, but I'm seeing something down here. I'm seeing something steadily. It only shows up. Oh yeah, I think we got an owl or something. Yeah, we got something down here with red eye shine. Something, we got something low and we got something high with eye shine down here. Might be reflectors. Let me zoom in. I wish I had. Yeah, I might be looking at reflectors. Camera's not picking it up. Well, yeah, it kind of does pick it up. You can pick it up right there, see? It might be reflected, so... I don't see what else could it be. There's something... What in the world am I seeing down here? They're reflectors or something. Might be game uh, hunters put reflectors up. And I think that's exactly what I'm seeing right here. So those ain't eye shine. Those are reflectors where a hunter goes in. Yep, that's what we got. Reflectors. I thought I had eyes on right there. Yep, reflectors. But that ain't what I that ain't what I was seeing. I was seeing something like a like a white light. You know that looked like eyes shine down here. And those are red reflectors down there. And this red light that I'm using is not bright at all. Yeah. And these woods are very strange at night, that's for sure. All right, well, that's very strange because I'm not seeing nothing in these woods that's showing what I saw up there sitting on that stone. It's like it was something, if it is, I don't know. The last few times we've been coming here, haven't seen nothing like that before. All right, so we're gonna head back up to the field. I'm gonna try to capture it on film while I'm up there. I don't know if, if it shows again. I just heard like a hoo sound. I don't know if the camera picked that up, but I heard like a hoo hoo. Could be an owl or something else. All right, yeah, let's get up there. Let's get back up there. I want to, if that is eye shine, I want to capture it, pick it up on camera for you guys. Because this, even though where we sit up on the field on the stones, it drops down over here. So, but when we're up there, it's almost eye level. So it's, if I had to make a guess, it's probably eight to ten feet tall. And what? Look at that. That's been broken, snapped down. But by what? Nothing landed on it. Something grabbed and broke that down. I 
Ooh. I keep hearing thumps and all kinds of weird stuff out here. These woods are alive. Something's out here. All right. All right, well, I'm going to go back up here, sit up on the stone with Julie, and uh, look and try to keep my camera focused. And uh, I guess I'll set the tripod up. Stay tuned. We'll be back. So, we've been seeing a lot of strange lights. Uh, tonight's been a lot of um, aircrafts in the sky. A lot of them. Mm -hmm. Which, I, you know, that's probably normal, I guess. I don't know. But more than normal that I'm used to seeing. Uh, another thing that both me and Julie, uh, I know we're seeing the same thing. She's caught it on and off. I've kept seeing it. And when I sit in one place here on the stone, it'll, it'll appear. And... It's some kind of light of some sort. I don't know, but on more than one occasion, it did clearly look like a set of eye shine. Every time I try to record and capture it, it doesn't show up. As soon as I take the camera off, it shows up. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it looks like a single flash of light. But then there's been a couple times it looked like it was actually literally a set of eyes. And keep in mind from where we are, we're up on the stone over here in the field. When you walk over there towards the direction where it is, it drops down and levels out. Mm -hmm. And like I said in the earlier uh, clip I put out when I was looking in the woods, if I had to estimate the height from where I was to from where we are, it's probably anywhere from 8 to 10 feet tall. Just giving a guesstimate. But I'll give you an example you'll see shortly of exactly what I saw or what we were seeing that we can't capture on film for some reason. So, but it's very cold out here. It started yeah. off being pretty decent and then now it's gotten real cold. It dropped, yeah, in temperature pretty quick. And both of our feet are. My toes are numb. Mine too. <laughs> I got nice wool socks on and good boots. <laughs> yeah. But, um, so I don't know. We had some vocals. I'll go through this audio and see what we picked up. Um, we had the owl. We had coyotes. I heard a couple other things down there. It sounded like yeah. weird hoot. Or weird, I don't know. I don't know how you want to describe it. Mm -hmm. But it's been another awesome night. Cold, but awesome. Yeah. So. Maybe one of these days we'll capture that strange eye shine or whatever it was. But something's been watching us, I believe. So, well, we're out of here. Yeah. Till next time. Yeah. <laughs>